This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a class list. And I'm also going to show you how to create a profit and loss statement for each individual class. Now you can think of a class as a different division of a company that allows you to allocate revenue and expenses to those specific divisions. For example, my fictitious company, Joe's Landscaping, offers pressure washing services in addition to its landscaping services. Now, I have already created two classes. One of them is called Landscaping. The other one is called Pressure Washing. So when Joe's Landscaping makes a sale for its landscaping services, that revenue will be allocated to its landscaping division. And the same thing goes for the pressure washing division as well. For example, on this particular invoice, Joe's Landscaping sold one dozen of red roses to Curly Company. So in the class drop-down menu, I chose Landscaping so that the revenue from this invoice will be allocated to Joe's Landscaping's landscaping division. Now I'm going to click the next arrow to go to invoice number two. And for this example, I have created another invoice in which Joe's Landscaping earned revenue for its pressure washing division. So from the class drop-down menu here, I selected pressure washing because Joe's Landscaping performed commercial washing for its customer. And that revenue needs to be allocated to its pressure washing division. Now I'm going to show you how to create a new class. Then I'm going to show you the profit and loss by class statement so that you'll see how revenues and expenses are allocated to each class. Now, in order to use classes, you must activate them. To do that, click on the Edit menu, then click Preferences. Click on Accounting in the left pane, then click Company Preferences. In the Class section, place a check mark in the box next to Use Class Tracking for Transactions. And make sure there's a check mark in the box next to Prompt to Assign Classes. That means QuickBooks will notify you just in case you forget to assign a class to a particular invoice or bill that you create. Click OK to save your changes. Now click on the Lists menu, then click Class List. At the bottom left, click the Class button and then click New, or you can press Control N on your keyboard. Now the only thing you have to do is enter in a name for the class. The first name I'm going to create is Landscaping. Then click OK, and then I'm going to create another class called Pressure Washing, and then click OK when you're done. Now my classes are set up. So now what I'm going to do is create two new invoices and allocate the revenue from one of those invoices to the landscaping division, then allocate revenue from the other invoice to the pressure washing division. So from the QuickBooks homepage, click Create Invoices, select your customer. Make sure you select the class for which the revenue is to be allocated. For the first invoice is going to be landscaping, and Joe's Landscaping is going to sell one dozen of red roses to its customers. And the revenue from this invoice is going to be allocated to the landscaping division. Now I'm going to save this invoice and create a new one. Select the customer. Now the revenue from this invoice is going to be allocated to the pressure washing division. And now I'm going to add the item, which is commercial pressure washing. Now this invoice is complete, so I'm going to click Save and Close. Now let's allocate an expense to the pressure washing division. Let's assume that Joe's Landscaping had to replace a part on one of its pressure washing machines. So let's create a bill for the part, select the vendor, and I'm going to enter in the amount of the part, which is going to be $10. And since we are purchasing the part to repair one of the pressure washing machines, I'm going to select the Repairs and Maintenance expense. And in the class column, make sure you allocate the expense to the proper class, which in this case will be pressure washing. Then click Save and Close. Now I have created two invoices, one of which the revenue is allocated to the landscaping division, the other one in which the revenue is allocated to the pressure washing division. Then we created a bill for the part, which is an expense, and that expense was allocated to the pressure washing division. Now let's run the Profit and Loss class report so that you can see what the revenues and expenses will look like on this report. So click the Reports menu, then go to Companies and Financial, then go down to Profit and Loss by Class. Now take a look at the heading of each column, and they're in alphabetical order. The first one is Landscaping, the second one is Pressure Washing. 
If you recall, the revenue from the flowers that was sold to the customer were allocated to the landscaping division, and the revenue that was generated from the pressure washing services was allocated to the pressure washing division. If you look further down, you'll see the cost of goods sold was $10 when we sold the flowers. That is Joe's landscaping cost to purchase those flowers from its vendor. That information was entered in when we created the flowers inventory item. And if you take a look farther down, you'll see the $10 repairs and maintenance expense from the part that was purchased for the pressure washing machine. And that expense was allocated to the pressure washing division. And that is how you create a class list and run the profit and loss by class report. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Once again, this is James Fox, and I'll see you next time.